Hello again guys, I am back with another video and today we are doing my first England match review because England played and it, it was a pretty boring game like every England game since like 2012 but yeah, actually no, since every England game since 2018 because I forgot about the World Cup but yeah, England crushed out the Nations League to Nations League, failed to qualify for the Nations League finals due to a 2-0 defeat to Belgium uh, so I've got the lineups here, by the way, as well. So basically, England started off on the back of a three-nil win in a friendly against Republic of Ireland, in which one of the Republic of Ireland players got coronavirus after the game, or got his results or something after the game. So hope he gets well soon. But then, like half the England players should have, but like half the England players who played in that game played in the Belgium game. So I don't get it. Gareth Southgate's on a mad one. But yeah, so Nick Pope didn't start, neither did Dean Henderson. Jordan Pickford started, of course, because it's Jordan Pickford, England's number one. I mean, yeah, England's number one, somehow. And then played the three at the back with Tyron Ming, or T Ming, as it says on here, but it's Tyron Mings. Eric Dyer, don't ask me how he gets into the England squad. Uh, I don't know what he does at Tottenham, but it's a, bit, it's a bit of a shambles. And then Kyle Walker. And then in midfield, we have Ben Chilwell, Declan Rice, Jordan Henderson, and Kieran Trippier. And then there's two attacking mids of Jack Grealish and Mason Mount. And Harry Kane is up front. Jack Grealish got his first start for England, which I'm very proud of, because Jack Grealish is... Very good. He, he's better than Mason Mount, which is a which is a first. Mason Mount didn't do much in the game, but Jack Grealish did everything pretty much. Jordan Pickford, just, just a bit too small. Eric Dyer, just a bit too bad. Tyron Mings is pretty good. Uh, all the Aston Villa players were actually pretty decent. Uh, Declan Rice, pretty solid. Jordan Henderson. Pretty solid. Ben Chilwell just got injured after like 20 minutes, so Saka came on. Um, but when Saka came on, I thought he did well. Kieran Trippier, I mean, he did he, he did all right. He was caught offside quite a bit, so he might need to check his run. But he's a right back, so I'll let him off. Jordan Henderson, I've already said about Jordan Henderson. Mason Mount already did already did nothing. I don't know. I don't get why. Gareth Southgate starts Mason Mount early game. He's probably tired already. He's probably played about like one minute of the game and he's already like tired. And he's fatigued. I bet, I bet Gareth Southgate probably has posters of Mason Mount just chilling in his room. And then he kisses him 24 7. And like the mouthpiece of Mason Mount's picture is just disintegrated because like it's just disintegrated. Because it's just been too wet from. Gareth Southgate's um, crusty lips. But yeah, Jack Grealish. He was very good. Probably England's best player. And Harry Kane was up front. Harry Kane. I think Harry Kane needs to realise that uh, Son doesn't play for England. And he's and he's relying on Mason Mount. Uh, with Son, he's got the pace. He's got the shooting. And he's got other things... That, are, that Mason Mount don't have. And yeah, so the substitutes who came on, uh, Sancho, he came on, Harry Winks came on, Dominic Calvert Lewin came on, and Saka, as I said, came on. Uh, no Jude Bellingham, who, he didn't come on uh, to play a second game. Nick Pope didn't come on that all, neither did Dean Henderson. But yeah, so the game started pretty poorly by England. Went down 1-0 in like 10 minutes. I think Eric Dyer played it out from the back, or tried to play it out from the back, but then just like done some mad Tottenham thing that he learnt and just gave it straight to the opponent who passed it to Yuri Tiemans who took a, took a touch and then like curled it bottom Bottom right, Jordan Pickford should have saved it if he was like two centimetres taller. 
or if Nick Pope was in goal, he could have saved it. Then, yeah, it, man, it, it took a deflection off Tyrone Mings, which is a bit unfortunate, because like Tyrone Mings played well that match as well. So he did kind of redeem himself after the unlucky deflection. But yeah, your team and scored that goal. Not sure who got the assist, but yeah, at that point it was one 0 Belgium. Then like in like the twenty fifth minute or something, the thirty fifth minute, around that bit. Uh, Declan Rice concedes a pretty controversial free kick. Um, from from the replays, it looked like it wasn't a free kick at all. It just looked like Declan Rice um, took the ball, got, intercepted the ball, and Kevin De Bruyne kicked in. But yeah, Belgium got a free kick because De Bruyne just went down and screamed. And Dries Martins, it was a pretty good free kick to be fair. I mean, Pickford, Pickford didn't, couldn't do anything about it. I think someone could have been on the line, maybe. But, but there was like five people on the wall, so maybe not. Yeah, Ben Chilwell would really come off that uh, that bit. And that's basically how it stayed until half-time. And after after the half-time whistle, England just bombarded the Belgian box for about like the whole half. So the Belgium just basically did a West Ham, just attack the first half and then just defend the second half. It's a bit surprising because no West Ham players played for Belgium. Declan Rath must have told him. But yeah, that's basically all that happened in the second half. England just bombarded the Belgium box. Belgium got a couple of yellow cards. Uh, Thomas Mounier, pretty lucky not to get a red. Yeah, Axel Witzel got... Yellow card, so he missed it. He missed. He misses the game against Denmark. I don't know why people are saying England are out. I don't know. I don't know much about the Nations League. I don't know if it's like the top goes goes through or top and second go through. Because if if Denmark lose and England win by like quite a bit, then then England could go second. If that is um, first and second do go through. But if it's just first, then. Well, that's just happened, because England are pretty poor. <laughs> but yeah, so that is basically the match report. Because it's England, there wasn't really much to report on. But with West Ham, there's quite a bit, because it's just West Ham, you don't know what's going to happen. But yeah, Luk Lukaku, big shout to Lukaku, he played very well. Just saying, he played really well. And... T Thibaut Courtois played quite well in goal as well. Harry Kane could have released the ball a bit sooner on some occasions. Jack Grealish just like just did Jack Grealish things and just played well. And yeah, Belgium, fair play to Belgium. 1-2-0. And then Denmark beat Iceland 2-1 thanks to two Ericsson penalties. So before people say Hernandez again, I'm not even a Man United fan, why am I even saying this? But if we say Penandes again, it should be Eric Penn. Oh, banter. Oh, yeah, just, I'm oh, sorry for that crappy pun. But yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.